Hey there everybody. We're using the old Harbor Freight plasma cutter again. And for a common sort of project around here, making use of old steel, the kind that I can afford. Got some mobile home I-beams here that I need to remove all the protruding extras from. But in doing this sort of rusty, filthy, irregular shaped work, it's very easy for your nozzles to become completely shattered. And to a lesser extent, the electrodes, the consumables. Unfortunately, soon after I bought this thing, I looked up what kind of torch this was. I can't remember where it, where it says that now. I don't see it anywhere here. Maybe it was in the instructions or something. But it's a Trafame. So I went on a search down at the bay for that and got a big pile of the consumables for cheap. Which was a good call as it turned out to be completely necessary. But even as cheap as they were, they're not that cheap anymore. And going through them at a pretty ridiculous rate on some of these filthy, disorganized projects. That was several years ago now that I bought that first batch of consumables. Now I just had another look at the bay, and we're going to try these guys. What's referred to as extended drag tip. Sounds like my kind of thing. Or I mean, you know, I'm not really that into women's clothing, but I think what they mean is uh, when your noozle has to drag along on your filthy work. So there's one out of the package. Much longer. And a different shape on the end there, which might protect the noozle. Let's see how it goes. And of course, it has to come with a corresponding lengthy electrode as compared to the standard set. Threads fit. Just get it in there and there's a noozle over that. Okay. say that already appears to give a much better angle and protrusion of the plasma to, to uh, peel something off relatively flush like that without cutting through the material that you want to keep. Just, that's uh, fairly decent for a first pass. It's definitely much easier to use for this sort of thing. Prepared this 18 feet of beam. And you can see 
that lots of spatter has hit this noozle, but there's been very little, if any, damage to the actual orifice so far. It is still cutting the same, which is already quite a bit better than I would have been with the standard consumables on this torch. And got the job done quite a bit faster with really very minimal damage to the beam itself. And of course I could be more careful with the way that I use my torch. But I would say without a doubt for filthy jobs like this, this is a worthwhile purchase. Extended drag tip.